Bye-bye. You got three by 1200, two by 800, and then two by 400. I'm gonna give you targets for the 12s and the 8s, and the 4s are just gonna be finishing fast. All right, you guys can start to warm up. A lot of sports have their preseason conditioning. Our sport is basically conditioning year round. The girls right now are running right at about 45 miles a week. Their long run is right about 10 miles. The guys, uh, there's three different groups of guys. We have a group of guys, uh, which is just Cody. He runs 90 miles a week. Um, his long run is right now 19 miles. It'll go up a little bit uh, towards the end of this cycle, but he runs 19 miles for his long run. The second group is doing 75 miles a week and 16 mile long runs. And then the third group is doing 60 mile weeks with 13 mile long runs. So they're putting in a lot of volume right now, but there's a lot of things physiologically that that does to help them out. But um, they're doing some higher intensity stuff as well, but it's all kind of mixed in so that we don't tax the same system on back-to-back -back days. It's gonna feel slow, but early on, but you got four total and you can drop as you, as you start to feel good. And I expect that you guys will. You know how these go? You guys have done workouts, so you know how they, how they feel early and then they progress a little bit later on. All right, everybody ready? Set, go. Nice job, stay relaxed. Nice job, girls. 95, 6, 7. The practices that they're together can be very challenging uh, when it comes to giving them targets or uh, trying to let them know where they're at in a workout when maybe the women are doing one thing and the men are doing another. and uh, It can be a little bit of a challenge. That was hard. Last 1,200, girls. 41, 42. So obviously it really hurt us last year with having only five girls. Uh, now we have the luxury of, of you know, bringing in some of those other people you know, to fill in some spots if we need them to do that. Hold some people out in, in order for them to get healthy. Also, there is that competitive side. You know, these freshmen are coming in and they're automatically mixing it up with the top girls and uh, they notice that. You know, and it's a friendly competition, but it, it's always good to have somebody right there beside you, right there in front of you, or right there behind you in the workouts, in the long runs, and everything that we're doing, to have somebody right there always pushing you makes a major difference. Nice job, ladies. One to go, one to go. Help each other. That way to work together. Looks good. 11. Nice job, you three. There we go. Here we go. Use each other. Help each other. 315, 316. Looking good. Last lap. We kind of add a little bit of a little bit more of an incentive. For one, regionals, you're limited to seven guys and seven girls. So uh, those guys are all fighting year round for the, that top seven spot and we limit our travel roster, our competition roster at conference to 10. So we have 12 guys, so that means two people are gonna be, are gonna be staying at home. It's hard to tell somebody no and leave somebody at home, but by doing that, they all compete for that spot. 249, 50, one, two, back on it guys, right on it, there you go. And I've tried to go through in my mind to the order that our runners are in, you know, who our top five, who our top seven, who our top 10 is, and I truthfully, I really can't do it. Um, they're all running excellent workouts right now, great runs on the long runs. Uh, they're just doing everything right and everything is going really well and some people shine through on one day and make me think that they're going to be a standout and then the next day somebody else will do the exact same thing and I just think I have a team full of standouts right now.